If you live in a home that is in desperate need of some repairs or remodeling, but you love the old look and some of the old elements that are there, you're gonna to wanna to stick around because Abe Degnan joins me now from Degnan Design, Build, Remodel. Abe, how are you? I'm great, Justin. I, it's, it's so good to have you here, and, and I'm really excited to talk about today's uh, topic here because you guys have a real talent for taking uh, older elements of something and, and incorporating it into the newer version, the remodeled version of that. It's fun. Yes, yes. So let's talk a little bit about that. We're, 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 doing a, a, we're talking about a porch here today. So what history do you know about this home that we're looking at here? Well, you know, this is part of the old downtown Verona and we actually okay. happen to have a couple of historic photos of the home. And um, one of the things that I notice about it is that the oldest uh, photo, you can see that crisscross railing uh, that is up on the second story. And uh, this picture is how the house was when we first mm. came to the homeowners. And you can see that there is another version of the crisscross railing that got rebuilt at some point in the history of the home. Mm -hmm. But what's interesting is that this house is actually built out of load-bearing masonry. Um, and so that presented some challenges in how we connect everything together and build this thing. Yeah, so like, what are what were some of the, the homeowner's goals and, and the challenges that you faced during that process? Well, you know, the we wanted to make it look like it did originally as much as possible, but we yeah. had to bring it up to modern building codes. Mm -hmm. It was really important because of that load-bearing masonry that we kept the masonry foundation, or at least the appearance of it down below. But the thing is, that foundation wasn't actually a foundation. It was floating, and it, it moved with uh, the freezing and thawing. So we mm -hmm. actually had to carefully insert real footings that don't move, keep the porch stable, and support that roof properly uh, in the process of rebuilding this whole thing. You guys are a little bit more than just roofers, aren't you? I mean, you guys do you guys do it all. I mean, that sounds like a very invasive, not invasive, but a very intense type of project. It's delicate. It's like yes. surgery. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. So what, what uh, elements were you uh, able to use uh, in the new version of this? Well, the great thing then is that we were able to keep the uh, we were able to keep that old masonry there and most of it stayed intact the old stairway is there and the the abutments of the stairway are both there we had uh, had to replace the limestone caps up on top of it because those had deteriorated but it very much keeps that that masonry so that you see the old house the original house and the way that it ties into the front porch yes that railing just off, you know, from at first glance looks so much better too. So yeah, yeah, and and that's you know actually one of the things that we were forced to modernize is that railing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's a couple of great modernizations in this, mm -hmm. and one of them was that we put in ceiling fans on the porch so that you can relax Ooh, yeah. in comfort uh, during the summer months when it's hot out there. This is a porch that's made to be used, and um, you know we had to put in proper handrails. So the handrail. Uh, at the stairway to go down safely are there and uh, then the upper railing as well we have that upper railing in there and, it, and it's not the crisscross design but it meets modern building code and that's important because they have a door that walks out from their right. upper master bedroom onto that second story right. and they use that space so we had to put in a building code legal railing Right. that works and still ties together making it fit the house. And it, it looks like it, it's natural, it looks very natural there and, and better quite frankly than this crisscross rail that was there before. Absolutely, so, yeah. a little maintenance goes a long ways. Yes. So you had some modernizing elements, obviously, but you're able to still maintain, it really does maintain that kind of the older feel. Um, how did you help uh, to make sure that the maintenance for this is kept low? Because I know that's always a big concern for folks is what kind of maintenance is this gonna be? Yeah, for sure. So, you know, that upper railing is an aluminum railing, so that thing never requires any paint. Um, the wood elements on this, on the, on the walls and on the columns are all uh, LP Smart side which has like a, a 25 or 35 year warranty holds paint almost forever um, so it will be very low maintenance and then the uh, 
uh, porch floor itself, uh, that is real wood on that porch floor, uh, but that is done properly. It has been sloped away from the house. It's protected by the upper roof in order to make sure that that thing lasts as well. And then finally, the upper roof deck itself is made to be able to be walked on. We used uh, a type of membrane roof known as TPR. And, uh, and the, the, all you need to know about that is it's made to be able to be walked on. So we can actually have furniture up there and the homeowners actually have a gas fire pit up on top by their bedroom oh, wow. and they also have a gas fire pit down below uh, in their seating area down below and that is comfort. Best way for people to get in touch with you if they are dreaming right now and they want to make their dream a reality? Go to our website at DegnanDesignBuildRemodel.com and click on book an appointment. Awesome. And Abe, thank you so much for being here with us today. We really appreciate it. Thanks Justin. Don't go away. There's more after the break. Stick around.